Hey guys, it's your host, Dion. And Jagger. Welcome back to the Wild Wolves Podcast. And today, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Peace Tea. If you want some peace in your life, get a Peace Tea. And we're also joined here today by the legend himself, Wyatt. Uh, yeah, guys, thanks for having me on the podcast. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So, Wyatt, how many hours do you have on Rust? Well... I hit my 2,000 mark not long ago, and I've been playing the game since 2019. That's pretty cool. Everyone's got to hit it. All right, so why, why do you have such an interest in the clan WW? Well, I've been looking to play with a highly skilled group of people for a long time now, and all the people I've found so far have uh, either incited me or been toxic. So I feel like I, uh, I found a gold mine when i found you guys hiring new recruits oh yeah we love our new recruits here yeah well jagger you joined w when did you join ww again i joined ww just short of last year it was one of the best decisions i ever made in my life oh uh, i agree with you fully i also joined ww not that long ago it was like six months and i was just same thing as what looking for a lovely clan gotta have the boys to play with and you really gotta hate the guys who inside you and are toxic yeah so uh why how did you come about starting to play rust well back in uh in my olden days i guess we could say <laughs> I, I i was looking for a game to play and i love the game arc yeah and i was looking at, uh around for games like that like survival you know multiplayer type based and uh, I saw Rust, and I immediately caught a liking to it, and I started watching some YouTube videos. Uh, it was, it looked amazing, and I eventually got it and started, started my grind. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I can agree with you fully there. You know, when I got my computer, I had nothing to play except for free-to-play games. You know, CS:GO, Valorant, all of that. But then. I saw this game Rust, and my friends have been telling me about it. They said, once you get a computer, you have to get Rust. It's life-changing. And that is very true, but it is very time-consuming. Like Wyatt, I also have almost 2,000 hours. And Rust is really good because it's player versus player, and you get to play with all your friends. That's why I'm in the clan WW. When I, uh, when I started pl playing Rust, it was about 20, 2019, I think. And this guy in my class, his name was Lance. He introduced me to the game. He said, hey, you should get a computer. You should play this game called Rust. And I'm like, that game sounds so interesting. I got my computer. I've hopped on the game. I met this guy named Almonds. He introduced me to the clan WW. And that was the turning point of my life. WW has changed my life for the better. Oh. Yeah, you gotta love your WW clan mates. We got everyone, Almonds. Eminem, we got Pant, Pant. we got Pant, <laughs> we got R, we got WW Lol. You know, we're, we control every server we hop on. We are the best of the best. They fear us out there. They fear us a lot. It is true, like Wyatt says. Alright, so I bet you guys have heard about the new update coming out, the Halloween update. What do Ooh. you guys think about that? Oh, uh, now, the Halloween event that uh rust brings to uh its servers are probably some of my favorite events on the game and uh i feel like it has a a chance to uh really grow the player base of the game some more yeah that's very true as they will be making a sale for halloween it'll be 33 percent off if anyone wants to try playing rust not sponsored by the way it's time right now hop on play with your friends uh like Wyatt said, there's usually festive updates like the Easter one or the Halloween one, like you said, and the Christmas one. It really updates the game and makes it fresh again. Like there's new AI creatures like zombies and scarecrows and stuff. 
new deployables and then every time you go out the trick-or-treating event can happen you collect candy you upgrade it you can get thousands of items it's really it's really refreshing and brings a whole new meaning to rust yeah as dion said sometimes you get burnt out of the game and the festive updates really bring up the spirit don't forget about the uh weapon skins that come out at yes, those times. yeah the item shop there's some good skins in there right now mm -hmm. uh, i especially like the l9 skin it's glow in the dark Ooh. it looks so good i don't think i've seen that one yet i might have to go check it out yeah also if you guys ever want to join ww submit your applications to ww at gmail.com and we'll look into it we'll see what you got maybe we'll send you an email back remember only best of the best though yeah you gotta work hard if you want to become one of the clan one of the pack yeah the pack is expanding every week we want to be the top dogs soon we'll take over vital yeah we'll, we'll be, be up there with bully yeah ot yep Yep, so just message us your applications if you want to come one of the pups. <laughs> uh, um, I know that Rust is, right now is in a, uh, I don't know, I, I wouldn't call it the best shape it's been. Mm, you know, agreed. I, I feel like it was on a steady downfall ever since the um, crawling update that came out that one time. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. I think the real start of it, of the downfall was the OTV update. Yeah. Yeah. Although it did bring a lot of new players, it kind of ruined the game at the same time because Rust wasn't the same afterwards. All these newbies thinking they're the best, watching their favorite streamer like Pokimane. Like, I'm not saying that they're bad at the game, but it's like there's other people you can watch. You don't yeah. have to watch her stream for two hours. To... And they came into a, a player base, like, not knowing what to expect, considering that Rust is... It doesn't have the friendliest of people on there. Yes. It really changed the mood. Yeah. Rust is meant to be a hardcore game, and the OTV update really just made the game seem soft and, like, yeah, meant for children almost. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of, it, like, kind of ruined Rust at this state there, but then there were so many new players you could dominate easier. The servers were full of worse players than before. And there was also a bunch of free new skins, which was also pretty cool. And they consistently brought them out up until last month, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, with a bunch of new, you know, f foreign Rust streamers, like people from Spain, Russia. It was it was kind of fresh. I was, yeah, I was a little bit uh, ashamed of that uh, that particular time. But the, the game pulled me right back in when it uh, released the Underwater Labs. Oh, true. I, just like the tunnel update... When it first came out, it was extremely broken. The scientist drop rates, the respawn with all the boxes, it was really broken. Mm -hmm. It was extremely hard to counter as well. If you had just a few people, you can watch the uh, entrance. Cool. It was... But the submarines, those were cool. Yeah. You could shoot torpedoes up at uh, boats on the surface. You could uh, take down whole squads if you really wanted to. And submarines, they're just they're just cool. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's easier to counter oil rig because they won't see you coming from far away. Yeah, and it doesn't make sound like a person with an O2 tank. It really put a new aspect into the game, having to watch underwater instead of above water. So. Yeah, it's true. It was terrifying, especially when you'd be, you know, hitting your barrels on the water and you'd hear the, the big boom of a torpedo exploding, and you'd be like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, although underwater labs were broken, they soon patched it. Uh, they added more moon pools, like individual ones. They slowed down the respawn rate of boxes and scientists. They kind of nerfed it, but it's still pretty good. There's still red card room, elite crates. Yeah, definitely still worth going. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like I said, you can contact us at, uh, ww at gmail.com. We also have a YouTube channel, WW Clan. You can watch our video, subscribe, like. We have previous podcasts uh, on the WW Spotify account or YouTube, wherever. You can find us there. We have it with a bunch more guests introducing them to WW and Rust. And uh, to conclude this, we'd like to thank our sponsor, HyperX. If you need a really good sounding headset to hear all those footsteps and uh, you know gunshots, anything tactical, 
go for a HyperX headset. Yeah, and again, we'd like to thank our guest here, Wyatt. You know, it's really fun seeing a new member to the clan. Yeah, I, I thank you guys for having me. It's been a it's been a great time. Yeah, of course, no problem. Yeah. No Can't problem. wait to go control wipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wyatt. Well, we'll have to see you on the server next wipe. Yep. See you on the retrospect. <laughs> 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 No. Pretty Caroline